Hello, and thank you for joining us to learn another of the many tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of QuoteWorks. Today, we will demonstrate a technique for creating page breaks in our printed documents using special line items on our quote. Initially, we have a three-page quote with a long list of items divided into sections separated by heading lines. What if we wanted more control over those page breaks? Maybe we want to start a new page for each of the different sections. We can do that using section formatting and section filters. Notice that on our layout we only have one detail section and it's being used to print every line item including the heading and subtotal lines. If we add another section and use some special formatting we can use it to trigger page breaks. So we'll add detail section number two. Under the section formatting, if we use either of the first two options, the printing process will advance to a new page whenever this section is printed. It doesn't really matter if we advance before or after since we're not actually printing any fields or details with this section. So we'll choose the first option, advance page before printing this section. Now notice what happens if we print the document. Notice that we're seeing a lot of page breaks now, but we only have one line item on each page. That's because we didn't set any section filters, so every single line item is triggering detail section 2 and printing our page break. If we create a filter for detail section 2, only line items that meet the criteria will trigger the page break. We can invent any convention for the page break that we'd like and design a filter to match our convention. We could have the filter match on any heading line items to automatically insert a page break whenever a heading line is used. Or if we want more manual control, we can have the filter match on line items that use a special phrase like page break in one of the line item fields, maybe the description field or the item type field. Let's try using the phrase page break in the item type field. We'll start with the operator if, then reference the data field item type in the document items table. Then we'll use the operator equals and then the phrase page break. So our filter expression now says if item type equals page break and only line items that meet this criteria will trigger printing section 2 which is our page break. Let's also shrink the section so that it doesn't affect our spacing and finally we want to make sure that those special page break lines don't also get printed by our standard detail section 1 so let's update the filter there too. Again we'll start with if and then we'll reference item type. But this time we'll use the operator less than or greater than, which also means not equal to. And then the phrase page break. So our filter now says if item type is not equal to page break and only line items that meet this criteria will be printed by section 1. For a more thorough explanation of using multiple detail sections and understanding the implications of section filters, please see the complete layout designer video, Basic Overview. Now let's preview one more time and then we'll add some page breaks. Notice that our printed document looks exactly as it did when we started. Now we can return to our document. and let's add page breaks before each of those headings. We'll come down to the second heading and insert a blank line and remember that our trigger is a line item that has the phrase page break in the item type field. So we'll put that phrase here. If we take a moment to set up our F2 lookup list we can do this a lot quicker for all future page breaks. So we'll add the new value and then we'll select it. Then we'll come down to the third heading 
and we'll insert a blank line and then add the page break. Now let's preview the document again and see if everything worked. We can see the first section on the first page and then we have our page break and the second heading on the second page and then a page break and then the third heading on the third page with the rest of our list. So we can see that our special page break line items have successfully broken up the document into sections divided by headings. Thank you for joining us to learn another of the many tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of QuoteWorks.